Well, it looks like we'll see some brief clearing come in from the west this evening. That may allow temperatures to drop off a fairly quick 5 degrees or so and then start to rise later tonight. So anticipating those temperatures coming down about 21 at 7 o'clock, 20 at 9. But as clouds start to return and also the winds turn to the southwest and some warmer air starts to move in, we'll see temperatures on the rise by 11 o'clock and into the upper 20s tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock with cloudy skies. And later in the morning and into the afternoon, even a chance of some light snow showers. We might even see some small accumulations. And uh, let's take a look at our 24-hour snowfall forecast here from our future track forecast model. And you can see it painting most areas about an inch or less of accumulation by the time we get to tomorrow evening at 10 o'clock. But might be enough for the evening commute. Might slow things down tomorrow evening just a tad. But tonight, no problems out there. Some of those leftover clouds around the area, but the snow showers pretty much passed to our east throughout the day. Occasionally, we've seen a couple of light flakes of snow this afternoon. But most of the precip southeast of us, some snow showers down at a West Virginia, Northeast Ohio, and then the system that could bring us some snow moving across the northern Plain states. An Arctic cold front up here. We have some bitter cold air actually moving into the northern tier of the country. Haven't seen a whole lot of that this winter, but that'll be pushing southeastward and bring us the chance of some of those snow showers tomorrow during the day. Right now we're 25 degrees with light variable winds, 62 percent the relative humidity, and temperatures tonight again mid 20s for us. So we may drop off anywhere from about three to five degrees briefly this evening before. Before those clouds start to return to the area. But the real cold air we're talking about, that's up here, three degrees below zero at Fargo. And then we have sub zero teens just north of the U.S. Canadian border, even out over parts of Montana. So that's the frontal boundary that will be dropping southeastward over the next 24 hours. But tonight, uh, that low well to the northwest of us with a weak area of high pressure sliding across the state. Already those clouds gathering to the west of us out through central and western Illinois with that clear patch over parts of Indiana. That'll be filling back in as we head through the overnight hours as that warm front lifts northeastward. Now there may be a snow flurry or snow shower across our northern counties tomorrow morning. It looks like a little better chance across the rest of the region tomorrow afternoon as that Arctic cold front moves in. And then behind the front, in comes a quick shot of some colder air with the main push of the real cold Arctic air to the north of us up across the Great Lakes and uh, into the uh, northern and western Great Lakes areas. So uh, another system will come across the area. It looks like late Friday. That may spread some more snow back in to parts of Ohio and perhaps even uh, parts of the Miami Valley here as we head towards late in the day on Friday into Friday night. And with some warmer air coming in, that may change over a little bit of a wintry mix Friday night and early Saturday. Early night, low around 20 with temperatures rising later tonight. After some brief clearing this evening, clouds will be on the increase. Could see up to an inch of snow by evening tomorrow and those snow showers that will be around. Again, the best chance for the Dayton area tomorrow afternoon, but even a chance of some snow showers late tomorrow morning and not a whole lot of rise in temperatures there. Turning colder by 7 o'clock, 26. We'll head down to the teens Friday morning and then upper 20s during the day with that chance of a wintry mix developing for Friday night and into Saturday with moderating temperatures by early next week.